<sighs> I haven't done one of these in a long time, y'all. Last last va- uh, episode that I landed off was six. This is number seven. Crazy meals consumed the TLC my six hundred pound life. Let's jump straight into it, y'all. Let's get it. this channel multiple times but it just so happens that we still got even more to cover from huge plates chocked full of chicken tenders to almost 4,000 calories worth of taco bell stick around to see some of the craziest meals consumed by patients of this classic tlc yeah, show my name is joey accident. you're watching plot twist and here are some more crazy meals featured on my 600 pound life we're starting this list off with Laura, who made her debut in season three of the show. Now, got- it's always nice to go out for a meal with your family, but in Laura's case, her eating habits tend to bring the opposite of joy. You can tell her mother feels especially bad for even buying her so much food in the first place. I won't lie, though, the food Laura is eating looks pretty doing? delicious. From what I could see, Laura has a plate full of huge chicken tenders and onion rings. She must have had a craving for onion rings, though, as right next to her plate is another basket full of them. Of course, Laura has some fries on the side and dips them in ranch. This is a lot of food. Not only is it a lot of food, but it's also incredibly greasy and fattening food. The kind of food you only reserve as a treat. But Laura isn't done after all that oily goodness. She finishes off that meal with a strawberry ice cream. After eating all of that, the last thing I'd want to do is consume dairy. Grease, starch, and dairy sounds like a horrible concoction to have in your stomach. We need two of the regular dinners, and then we need three of the hot ones. I have a big family, and we all love to eat, and I just can't stop. Most of that was for her. It's killing me. I worry about it, but I don't want her to know anything, so I just keep it to myself. My mom cries with me. She says, is she sorry? And I told her, it's not her fault. I want to change, but I'm scared that she won't make it. Oh, fuck you know, you gotta stop doing what you're doing! Next, have Marla. Near the beginning of her episode, Marla is branded with a lot of groceries. It's hard to tell what she's given as all the boxes are blurred out, but from what I can tell, she's given multiple boxes of sausage and egg muffins, as well as things like Hershey bars and cookies. Looking at all this food must have made her hungry, though, as she wastes no time in asking for food to the fair. Marla requests three sausage and egg muffins. These three muffins should be enough to fill anybody up, but not Marla. She is then given some chicken, flour, and a deep fryer full of hot oil, and she makes herself about seven that. fried chicken tenders. Once these chicken tenders are prepared, she covers them in sauce and wraps them in bread before consumption while the chicken looks pretty good i'm not sure how i feel about them being wrapped in bread up next we have susan and to be fair the meal she orders in this scene isn't too crazy at least not compared to the other patients on this list susan orders two burgers i'm not sure what kind of burgers she just says burgers i'm assuming they're hamburgers along with a crispy chicken sandwich and an order of regular fries now i'd just be happy with the chicken sandwich and fries i certainly wouldn't eat two more hamburgers after that especially considering susan's meal is about 1300 calories that's more than half of her recommended daily intake just in one meal that's after she eats her food she goes on a huge shopping spree with her mother now you can see how full the car is and i'm not seeing a lot Mom, veggies. don't All you I'm seeing is put the fucking Doritos back? Full of put them back. Huge bottles full of Coca Cola. I need two burgers. No, you don't. And then a spicy chicken sandwich. You don't need shit. Can I ask why it was so long? Can I ask why it was so long? Because you have other people behind you. Girl, get the fuck on. I can. Talking I'm shit while you go. And the girl, you ain't give a damn about it being long. And she just hasn't stopped. She just go talk keeps shit. Bigger and bigger. Oh, this. I ain't gonna say it. I dare say it. In- this next episode is quite a bizarre watch as Ashley's child pretty much does everything for her. The kid oh, yeah, is no this older is, than yeah. five and he's doing laundry, cooking meals, and anything else he really needs done. It's pretty sad and you can't help but judge Ashley's parenting as these are not responsibilities a small kid should have to take on. One thing Ashley does show that she can do herself is prepare food. She makes what looks like pork chops, buttered corn, and mac and cheese. While this sounds like a normal meal, just look at the size of her plate. It is absolutely huge. Ashley even says herself that the plates of food she eats could feed a family of four. Later on in the episode, the whole family is indulging in huge boxes of chicken tenders, fries, and rolls. You can't help but wonder how these eating habits are affecting Ashley's kid. My son helps me with everything. He's my legs and a lot of things. Basically everything that involves standing and walking around a lot. 
Patrick does for me. Will you do some laundry real quick? He has to help me with just about every household chore. It's hard for her to walk, so I do the stuff that she wants me to do every day. When you turn to food for everything. It's a very hard addiction to break. That's enough, goddamn macaroni and cheese, girl. I eat enough for two or three meals. My plate alone could probably feed a family of four. It's like a calm that washes over me. It's my comfort. Up next, we have Brittany, who starts the episode off with a huge plate of cake. And I mean huge. This piece of cake can be shared between at least three people. It seems as if she has quite a sweet tooth, as later on in the episode, you see her eating a whole tub of Ben and Jerry's. And this is before a huge order of Domino's arrives at her door. I can't see exactly what's been ordered, but just know it's a lot of food. I know for sure that Brittany chows out on a whole box of chicken wings and helps herself to a huge portion of pizza, though. This is followed by a big glass of cola, some chocolate, and she finishes the night off with a chocolate wafer. How anybody can consume that much food without throwing up is beyond me. Just going to sleep on that shit is crazy. The next vision we have is Dottie, who starts the episode off with a double cheeseburger, fries, and 10 McNuggets. Altogether, this is about 1,400 calories, so it should keep her full for quite some time. However, later in the episode, it seems as if she's worked up a pretty huge appetite. I can't even tell you what most of this food is, but I'll try my best to identify it. There's definitely a huge helping of mashed potatoes completely smothered in gravy, as well as some mac and cheese. I'm not completely sure what else is on that plate, but I know it's a meat of some kind. Could be some sort of patty. She then helps herself to a bowl of chocolate cake with ice cream. June is so big that she can't even find the energy to collect she got on so she gets her partner to do it for her. June she gives her partner a shopping list of sorts, and at the start of this episode, June is craving Taco Bell. Thanks to the shopping list provided by June, we know exactly what her order is. June orders a nacho grande, two stuffed burritos, two gorditas with extra beef, a chalupa, and finally two tacos. June they even forgot my two tacos. She wanted Girl, wasn't shut up. Bad. Like you miss so irritated that she even calls her Taco Bell to complain. I get fast food anywhere from one to two times a day, sometimes three. I'm conflicted by buying this food. I give in because I don't want to fuss. And I have uh, you just be some fussing right motherfucker. Two stuff burritos, gorditas, extra beef, a chalupa, and two hard shell tacos. Uh, did you look at the pipe? You couldn't. I had an order and came through drive through and you guys didn't put an item in the bag at all. Yeah, so I can add it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Put it in the back. You ain't need it. The of a restaurant, and I can't tell exactly what the restaurant is, but they have something called a nibbler, and I think they're small chicken burgers. Christina's mother orders 16 of them, as well as some large fries and coleslaw. Now, the argument we always give is that this food might not all be for Christina, but I'm sure a lot of it is, as we can see Christina helping herself to a lot of it. I'm pretty sure all the fries are for her as well, as we don't see anybody else even attempting to eat them. I don't want that I'm afraid that's all the time we have left for today. With so much food to cover on this list, I think I gotta find something to eat myself. If you enjoyed this video, that shit did kind of make me hungry. I ain't gonna lie, seeing some of that shit kind of made me hungry. I'm gonna eat like what I'm gonna eat. I ain't gonna be eating that shit. But like that girl with the the taco, she made me so mad in that fucking episode. Like you forget, you forget. Just you ain't need it. The fuck, you already ordered half of the damn menu. Shit, you ain't need it. Like, if you, if you was nice, sorry. Right, you know what I'm saying? But I know, no. No, man. We'd have just been fussing. You ain't you ain't gonna know. And you ain't either. You don't need that shit. God damn it. You talking about you want to lose weight. You want to live the next couple, the next five, ten years. You got to stop eating like that. It's just that simple. You know what I'm saying? This was a lot of motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, a couple of them did kind of make me a little disgusted. But, I mean, it happens. Other than that, let me know what y'all think, man, down in the comment section. Smash the like button. If y'all want me to keep going with these, let me know down in the comment section. Um... Share the video and subscribe to the channel for your boy, man. That was a lot of fucking food, bro. Hey. Peace, love, blessings. See y'all in the next video. We out. Yeah.